All right, we're gonna start night two of the Shrimp King 5-in-1 Showdown. Uh, this will be a little interrupted. I'm gonna be taking a quick trick up to Joshua Tree. Uh, I was working on my trailer earlier, so I'm a little raspy from doing some welding. <laughs> um, anyway, so tonight I'm gonna do it a little different. I am going to leave the five leaf mix where it is because there's still some in the dish. The snow pops are gonna stay where they are because there's still little bits in the dish. Um, the mineral is all gone, the complete is all gone, and the protein is all gone. I've got guys still scavenging the glass, which tells me I need to pull the glass out and clean it. Um, but because we're, you know what? Huh. I should pull the glass out and clean it. So for night two, I'm gonna leave everything where it is actually. And then tomorrow I'll pull out the glass, clean it, and get the fluval stratum that's on the beach pushed back, the little bits of leaves that are on the beach pushed back, clean the beach up nice. Um, but for this video, I'm going to start feeding with the lights off. I'm going to get up and turn those off. The reason I'm leaving the camera pointed high is I just did some unboxing videos because I received my Shrimp King Moringa Pops, Algae Pops, and Yummy Gum and did unboxing videos on those. Those will show up in the future when I shoot those out. I've got two more products coming in, which is the Shrimp King Biotaste, which I'm assuming is a competitor to Bacter AE. And Shrimp King, no, sorry, not Shrimp King, uh, Glass Garden uh, Mineral Junkie, which I'm assuming is the competitor to the Shrimp King Mineral, which will be going here tonight. Um, that's part of the five in one pack. So far, I'm looking at buying full size of everything except maybe Five Leaf and Snow Pops, depending on how they do. The other three, the Complete Mineral and Protein, are doing well. And I'm happy with those so far, um, but Five Leaf is highly disappointing if there's still some in the dish after 24 hours. Um, same thing with the Snow Pops. There's a little bit left, and it came crumbled up, so I wasn't happy with that. Uh, we'll see how it does, though. So I'm going to put in three, four pieces in each dish again, which I'm going to get started on. And instead of doing Shrimp King Color in that corner tonight, I am going to do Shrimp King Baby. I know I should just be doing the five, but there was too much fighting and I had to adjust, which I will probably wind up doing again tonight. So the ones that did poorly, I'm going to start with first. So I will do snow pops because there's still a little bit there. I'm going to break these a little more so maybe they're easier to get to. The snow pops snapped. Let me put a light so you can see this better. The snow pops. See, you can see it fluffing up. I'm going to throw in a couple of little pieces. There we go. They sink fast and they start to inflate and crumble up. So, I mean, the fact that... So I'm trying to get another small piece, small pieces and crumbly bits here to throw in. Um, it's a little disappointing. There we go. Basically, four pieces for snow pops. And... I'm going to give a little bit of a delay during everything, and now I want the five leaf mix. You can see they go for the snow pops right away once they hit. And I'm going to break up, and I'm going to try to grind it up a little, just on the top here. There we go. For the five leaf mix, and drop a few pieces and try to break it. I'm going to try and break them all up so they're not the full size stick, but it'll a little bit smaller. Okay, I hope that one is sinking. There we go. And another floater. There it goes. Hopefully this all land in the dish. I had one piece not land in the dish, and they did kill that one. They, they drug it across the beach. Either before or after what I'm doing now, I'm gonna have a video. I did a quick one when I came home for lunch today. Okay, so they're going after those two right away, which is good. I'm gonna move these up here a little bit. You know, let me just leave them where they're at. And what I'll do is I'm gonna take a look at this camera, aim it down a little. Sorry, I just bumped it. I've got it plugged in right now. Here we go. Aim it down a little bit more. There we go. 
Um, all right, so they're going after the five leaf mix and the snow pops when I just have those in there. They start swarming it. This video today is going to be a little longer. I'll do a time lapse in between. And during the time lapse, it, after they start fighting quite a bit, I'm going to put in some more food just to break it up so they're not fighting so aggressively. All right, so breaking them into smaller pieces seems to have attracted them more. Maybe it just released more scent. They're looking around at the other dishes. It looks, I might have been wrong, there might be a little bit of mineral left in that dish. I thought it was just dirty underneath. The complete is clean. It's just air bubbles underneath that. And the protein is clean, but I've got some guys sniffing around at that dish. Like there's some residue on the glass. Okay, so they're attacking the five leaf and the snow pops. All right, so you know what, what I might do for the next few videos is just put a couple, do a single night of each. Man, I really don't want to order another five in one pack, but I think I'm going to have to just to get a good video on this. All right, so you can see the food's in the tank. They're all starting to tugboat. They're looking for food now. So where am I at time-wise? I'm already at almost seven minutes. Um, yeah, let me get the other food in real quick. I'm gonna do the same thing. Where are we at? This one is mineral, which is on the other side. So I'm just gonna set that there. Protein, which is right in front of me. I'm gonna try and get a couple pieces of that in here. I can pick up some small pieces. If not, I'm gonna break them up. Now I got a little crumbly, that's good. I'm just not dropping in full size sticks like I did last night and cropped that. Where did it go? And I knew it right where I wanted it. In the thing. Dropping in some small pieces protein in that dish all right so protein five leaf is in complete and mineral did really well so I'll do those I'm gonna jump around there we go and hopefully I'm gonna bump into my camera and cord I'm stepping over my little stool back here Got the right one complete, yeah. This one I can crumble and break a little, so drop in some complete. It's two sticks broken in half, I'll get one more. Oop, that one is a little softer. I'm gonna grind that up and get some powder of this going in there. And one more small piece. So I'm keeping it up oh, and miss the dish, that's fine. Now for some mineral. All right, so tonight they started strong on the five leaf and are abandoning it. They're going hard for the snow pops and the protein, the complete they're starting to come after. Now I'm gonna start dropping some mineral, broken a little smaller. This will look small. I broke that stick in half. Let's see if I can break it. These ones are, the mineral ones are definitely a little more dense, like the complete. They sink faster, they're not as easy to snap in half. Yeah, no, let's see if I can get a more small piece of mineral in there. Okay, I'll throw another one of the stick, screw it. There we go. I want to jump out of the way when that hits me. <laughs> All right, so those are going. Let me close this side up. I need to kill a couple mosquitoes that keep getting in there. And then, whew, man, they went after the complete fast. And the mineral. You can see a lot of them are ditching 
the five leaf already and going for the others. So the other four are doing well. Snow Pops is doing better than it did last night, but that was the first one I put in. But five leaves kind of, lo they're losing interest in the five leaf pretty fast. And there was still some in the dish, so it should be soft and easy to break up. They should be able to get pieces and run off with it. There was a big piece of five leaf that missed the dish over here yesterday, it was over here this morning. Oop, and what I didn't want to do was hit the camera, and I did. Um, so, what I'm going to do is start pinching in some baby down the tube here. I'm going to go down. I'll swirl so it starts working its way down. That'll kind of waft everywhere. So they're all in. Everything's doing good, minus the five leaf mix, which has hardly a crowd. There. All the other dishes are full and overflowing. Um, I got tug motors all over the tank. A lot of tug motors on this side again, on the far right side. Lots of babies on the glass. I didn't poke or clean up the. Um, water lettuce and I really should cut a couple of these big tiger lotus leaves out of the way they're just blocking a lot of light right now um, oh speaking of light let me move this one forward there we go get a better view on the shrimp baby pouring down over there which should draw a good crowd just so they're not fighting over everything but this is a pretty good start to it and we're at ooh, already 12 minutes yeah, I'll talk for a little bit more, then we'll cut out for a long, um, what do you call it, time-lapse, hyper-lapse video. And during that hyper-lapse, probably towards the tail end of it, I will throw in some um, Hikari sinking wafers on each side of this five-leaf mix. I don't think I'm going to do any glass garden tonight the shrimp two dinner pads just throwing some algae wafers because I know they eat that a lot <sighs> and the five leaf is disappointing the snow pops are starting to thin out a little too protein's got a big fight going for it some of them missed the dish so it's kind of spilling over a little one of the mineral missed the dish and they're out there fighting at it Huh. Yeah, I'm just worried about hurting each other when I'm doing this. And Shrimp Baby in the corner's got a big attraction going to it right now. But still a lot of tugboaters looking for something that's not out. Because it's normally when I do these feedings I start doing my powdered food at the same time, so I think they're out and about looking for it. But I got a lot of baby tugboaters tonight too, which is cool. They've been all over the glass, but they're getting brave and swimming around. No predators, so they do really well. Hmm. Got a like, wave of shrimp going to the shrimp baby over there. Yeah, five leaf sucks. Hate saying that, but I mean, proof's there. Look at everything else. Five leaf's got, you know, like 30 shrimp on it. Whereas I've got easily, <laughs> there's got to be 100 shrimp in that dish. Like 60 in the snow pops. Sorry, that's the protein, the snow pops, the five leaf, mineral, complete, and baby. All Shrimp King products. There. Wish Shrimp King had a wafer, a harder wafer. That yummy gum. It's a weird one. You have to see the unboxing video on that coming up. And the Moringa Pops and Algae Pops are very much like the Snow Pops. So I'm kind of worried about how those will do. We'll see. 
All right, but anyways, I am just rambling at this point. We're already at 15. Let me kill this, and we're gonna go to hyperlapse, and I'll come back after that. Alright, so I'm back like 30 minutes later. You can see I threw in the, my kid's cam trying to get some inside footage. You can see the Shrimp King baby went nuts. You can see it walked it over this way. They're going absolutely crazy for the complete fighting hard over the mineral. Seven leaf, or sorry, five leaf, whatever it is. Five leaf mix is pretty sad. Pretty, pretty sad. Snow pops, pretty sad. And protein bustling. And they must be kicking some out of the dish because they're all around it and it all landed in the dish. They gotta be carrying little pieces off. Because I've got that going so well, I do need to start putting in some supplements to get away from that crazy infighting. So I am gonna throw a bunch of Curry pellets in like right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't land in the dish. Good. No worries. Close to the dish, but not in the dish. So I got some Hikari pellets I just threw in. Let's see how quick those pull up. I said I wasn't gonna do any glass garden shrimp dinner too, but I'm changing my mind. I wanna see if it pulls away from the other ones. So I'm just gonna get a couple pads. 
two, five, six, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm going to seven, eight heads. I might have pinched two on the last one. Hard to tell in the dark. And pinch them in right over here on this side. Let me know how these, uh, or what you think of the time of, hey, no, don't go to that close. Eh, whatever. That was clumped together a little. Mm -hmm. Let me get my curved tongs and see if I can grab those and move them away a little. Get away, get away. I'll stick my hands in here a little bit to do this. There we go. Just, I got plants sticking in my hand. There we go. Where am I tapping on here? So you can see they're fighting over the pellets real fast. Not much going on with the five leaf mix though. I'm sure I've talked about them before, but I got two sets of long tweezers. I think they were 18 inch long tweezers off Amazon for like 18, 19 bucks. They're fantastic. I wish they had them a little bit longer. They're stainless, but they do rust clean up with uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser if you forget to dry them off. But for what you're getting value wise, they're fantastic. Yeah, really, I mean, look at how quick they go after the Hikari and Glass Garden Trip Dinner Pads. I mean, it's pulling guys away from the Snow Pops. Five Leaf, there are a few oddballs that like it. That's like the broccoli of the tank. Ooh, I should start doing some fresh vegetables. Not fresh, fresh, but blanched vegetables. Throw in some carrots and other stuff, blanch, and try those out. Oh, I had been soaking... These giant Indian almond leaves that I got. This is two days, you can see it looks like tea now. And I do want to slide one of these giant leaves against the back glass. This one's a little cut up, torn up. That's perfect for sliding back there. And while I'm doing this, I might as well go for it. Let me see. This is the hard part, is getting it past all this water lettuce. Everything else, I just try to cut through. I just want to slide it in back here. Hopefully not piss off too many little shrimp. I've got this stuff all over, but I wanted to get one tucked in back there. Well, I've been saying I wanted to fluff this stuff up anyways, so. I just got this Christmas moth just kind of heckling down everywhere. Try not to hit anybody if they're against the back glass, but just trying to slide that back there. There we go. Been wanting to do that. Give me different coloring. You can kind of get a better look at the tank. Depth wise, I don't know why I moved that light because I want to pull that camera out right now. Because the black background and how dark my tank is, it's hard to see some of that stuff. Ah! Got my single stuck in the bin on the floor there. Yeah, nobody's going after the leaf. I usually get, I don't know, there's a couple down there. I usually get a couple going after those right away. Pull this camera out. See how that footage comes out. Get this edited and put in later. Ah. Said like four minutes. Could have sworn it was longer than that, but we'll see. See how this tripod holds up going in the aquarium all the time. It's a little cheapy. $7 Amazon Basics camera stand. The aluminum didn't have any copper parts, which would have killed everything in my tank if it did. I uh, went through and pulled it apart and checked it out. So, hasn't hurt everything in my tank, so 
if you want to do something like this. This is a good one. I'll put a link up. I think I did an unboxing video for it. Not for the channel, I think I just did one for Amazon. Starting to play with this GoPro more in this video is going to be. And this is my kid Zacasso. I'll put a link up to that. He's had this a while now. Been a nice little GoPro clone for him. Now that GoPros are dropping in price, I'll probably pick them up one too. But I'll get this footage up later. Now let this go a couple minutes more, I think. What are we at? We're at oh, seven minutes already. Yeah, maybe I'll wrap this up. I'll wrap this up for now and I'll come back and do a quick wrap up and say like an hour. We'll see how it looks then. Um, trying to make these videos were not terribly long. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this PSA, another Poser Shrimp Aquarius video. I can't start saying the video name more, the channel name more. And this was the 5-in-1 plus Shrimp Baby pack test run again and tomorrow well the next uh, five nights what I think I'll do is I'll just six nights finish off the food I'm gonna do all one food and all the dishes and then do one more final showdown just like this but mix up the orders anyways this is it for now I'll be back in say an hour and try and get an update